As lawmakers discuss a potential nationwide ban on TikTok, today marks the final deadline for all federal government personnel to remove the app from their devices. Fox 5 maker Tom Haynes has been closely monitoring this story throughout the day. And Tom, uh, you're at the live desk with more details. Yeah, it's a big move, Christine. Today's deadline covers more than 1.8 million employees of the federal government, but it doesn't apply to federal contractors until May the 28th. Today's ban is expected to be just the first step in a broader effort to restrict TikTok nationwide. Over growing concerns that the company could be stealing personal data and then feeding it back to the Chinese government. Some lawmakers on Capitol Hill are now pushing for a broader strategy to confront China, which includes hosting the president of Taiwan here in the U.S. Chinese President Xi Jinping, however, is now responding by calling on his top commanders to be ready for combat, possibly against Taiwan. China's also increasing their annual military spending by 7%, which could put the U.S. at a disadvantage in the region. There's a really an underreported arms race going on in the Western Pacific right now. These countries are arming themselves up and they very much, with very few exceptions, want the United States there. TikTok poses an unacceptable national security threat. There was a concern about the potential use of TikTok for foreign influence campaigns. Right now, Congress is considering the Restrict Act, which would allow the Commerce Department to regulate or even ban apps like TikTok that are considered to be a national security risk. China, however, continues to claim that the app is perfectly safe. Reporting from the Live Desk, Tom Haynes, Fox 5 News. All right, we'll keep watching that debate. Tom, thanks so much.